All right, welcome back. So another key use case for Ansible Windows automation is around being able to install updates. So perhaps you're looking at an alternative to things like SCCM or WSUS and are looking to bring more of your infrastructure automation under a single roof, so to speak, and looking at Tower to do that. So we do have a simple playbook here. Um, we're not gonna run all of this live, like I will launch the job and let it start to work, but we're talking about installing updates. So I, I hope it's understood that, you know, we can show that it's run in the past without having to burn a lot of time on the video itself uh, doing that. But a simple playbook here to install just security updates. If we wanted to add critical updates, we can make that another line under the categories. But just to install security updates and be able to do a reboot. Simply put, the playbook can handle all of this if we just, you know, tell it what we want it to do. And so I can show basically from a job history perspective, um, once again, somewhat highlighting the it's kind of the filterability and uh, being able to do some of that. We can see from a previous job that ran how it worked, that it did come back okay and a change say it was successful. So coming back to running the Windows updates here, I'm not sure if it'll actually have anything for us. They probably not on the, uh, the OS that we're working on. Um, but we should be able to show this. So doing a, an install here should just be as simple as launching this job template from this perspective. And it should bring up the launch view for this. Goes from, once again, a pending state, hopefully shortly to a running state, which it has now should start to tell us things about what it's doing. And if we look over here, we can actually see from a previous run that we did a few days ago um, that it did uh, do some of these installations at this point. Um, and you know, if we needed to, we could actually correlate that between what's in the output and what have you. But suffice it to say that it does handle this um, and handle Windows updates. There are certainly some tuning parameters and some things that you would want to do to be able to catch exceptions some things like that that are probably out of the scope of a video like this. But um, once again, the Windows Update uh, module is uh, Win Updates um, is, is there as is a well-supported aspect of working in the Ansible ecosystem and uh, certainly encourage you to check it out.